Welcome to The View from a Pew.com and KTIA Radio 99.3 FM. I'm your host, Reich Plekis, each and every Wednesday and Thursday from here on out on The View from a Pew.com and KTIA at 3 p.m. Join me as I present the greatest gospel artists, small groups, musicians, pastors, authors, apostles, and more, bringing to you the clear and concise word of God locally. Join me, www.theviewfromapew.com and KTIA Radio 99.3 FM at 3 p.m. I hope you'll join me to spread the word powered by GFest and webcast one live.com. We're here at 99.3, The Truth Network, with Minister Reich Plekis and Pastor Judy Chapman, and we are just excited for what the day has to bring to us. I'm making mention, making mention right now that uh, we're inviting you all to come out to break every chain with Apostle, none other than Apostle John Eckhart from Crusaders Church in Chicago. He was here last year and ministered to about 300 people in two different sessions um, at uh, New Beginnings Discipleship Ministries, and he just felt the calling and the need to return back to Des Moines because of the oppression that is over this city, city Pastor Judy. And so oh. he'll be here December 6th at, excuse me, December 5th at 7 p.m. at the Event Center West, which is 1701 25th Street. And then there's a brunch and learn on December 6th at 10 a.m. Friday night service is open to the general public, but you do need to register on Eventbrite so that we can guarantee a seat because they have a limited number of seats there. And I know that they've already registered about 160 and it's open to 340. So Whoa. go to Eventbrite and look up John Eckhart, Apostle John Eckhart, E C K. H-A-R-D-T, in Des Moines on Eventbrite. Register for the free general service on uh, Friday night, December 5th at 7 p.m., or you can purchase your, your seat for the Brunch and Learn on Saturday at 10, and we are showing the poster right here, so when you listen to the show later on, you can see the website there, address there for Eventbrite, or otherwise go to eventbrite.com and search Apostle John Eckhart in Des Moines. It's going to be a power-packed prayer service and deliverance service, Pastor Judy, unlike Des Moines has seen. Don't want to miss that. Don't want to miss it. Amen. Yeah. Would you open us in prayer real quick? Yes, I will. Amen. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we take a knee to your authority and your sovereign kingship this mm, morning. Yes. This afternoon. And we ask that you would be with us, Lord, and yes. that every word and everything that we say would be pleasing unto you. Father, we ask a special blessing um, now as we bring forth uh, um, new information, Father, from... Uh, Claudine Cheatham today, Father, yes. and I ask that you would bless her as she yes, shares Lord. her heart with us, Father. Yes. Be with her in Jesus' name. We thank you for this time. Amen. Amen and amen. Well, I tell you, we are in for an awesome show today. We have my sister from yet even another mother in the house with us live in the in the spirit and in the flesh, in the soul and in the being. That's how I'm going to say it. All right. Welcome, my sister Claudine Cheatham. How are you? I'm wonderful. Right. Thank you so much for having me today. I love you. You know, we got a family connection. We do. We do. So we we have uh, uh, Sister Judy, Pastor Judy. We have uh, family relationships that are intertwined. And, right. and um, I knew when I met her, I knew it was love at first sight. <laughs> well, how about that? <laughs> hey, man, I tell you, the spirit of God is in her. And um, I want to tell you, the general public, the, the listening public and the viewing public that's here today, um, and, and I call her minister, but she says, Brico, please don't do that. But she is a lay minister. Um, but Sister Claudine Cheatham is here today, and she's going to talk to us about the purpose-driven life that God has given her to sit down and script a gospel play. I bet it's going to turn into a novel someday. I'm just prophesying that. Hallelujah. That it's called Sticky Situations, and it's coming up here in Des Moines. And we're just going to ask her the who, the what, the where, the when, why, how um, God gave her the, the know-how to sit down and manuscript a gospel play. Is that right? That is right. And it definitely was the Lord. Amen. Because I had no training in this. I just, um, I can still remember that day. You know, I was in Kansas City at the Midland Theater and I was at a gospel play. All right. A good man is hard to find. Ooh. And um, and when it was all over, I just, I looked at my best friend that was sitting next to me and I was like, I can do this. Mm -hmm. I see myself yes. doing this. And this wow. was like in 1995. Wow. And she said, you don't know anything about writing no plays, girl. Mm -hmm. But it didn't dissuade me, you know. Come on. And 
I just started. Come you on. Know, I just picked it up one day, a pencil and a piece of paper, and I just started these characters, you know? Yes. And it's, I've been through so much um, hell. Can I say hell? You can say hell. Okay. It is a place. <laughs> I've been through, <laughs> been through so much hell in my life that I thought, you know what? I'm going to make the devil pay me for what he's taking 70 me through. 70 times right. 7. And I'm going to write this down, and I'm going to tell everybody yes. right. what he did and how he tried to wow. manipulate me. Take into, you out. That's right. Try mm. to take me out. Come on. And I was just like, you know what? I'm going to write this drama down wow. on paper, mm. and then I'm going to infuse it with a little bit of the fiction, and then somebody can't come back and say, hey, she's talking about me. You know, mm -hmm. and then want to try to get some money from me because. Oh, okay, come on! You so know. I was like, no, this is my story. God's going to get the glory from it, you know. Amen. And so I started looking at my other friends, what they've been through, and I just like, you know what? People need to be delivered. That's right. We are talking to Claudine Cheatham, the executive director, producer, and director of Sticky Situations, coming up December 14th at Goodrill Middle School, 3300 East 29th. And I'm telling you what, I already know that the ticket sales are busting out the door, and you need to reserve your seat. Um, it's going to talk about deception. It's going to talk about addiction. It's going to talk about disbelief, abuse, depression, secrets. Mm. Not only personal secrets, but family secrets, I'm mm. sure. What Come can on. I say? Come on. What can I say? Make it plain. I'm bringing life to the stage. Mm. Wow. You know, and 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 Sister uh, Cheatham, I have to say this, that, you know, God, if he could use a donkey, why can't he use man? You know, and and it's, it takes men and women to finally, you know, pick up that bed and walk, pick up that yes. rug and walk, yes. Pastor Judy. Exactly. Because otherwise we'd be just stagnant people, st mm. zombies. Right. Well, he said the rocks would cry out. Come on. But his she vessel. She's going to get a preach on. Ah, yes, here we go. His, his vessel of preference. Come on. Is me right. and you. Amen. Right. He would rather use us. Right. You know? You and so it. we have people out there that are in sticky situations. Mm. And they need to be delivered so they can get about God's business. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So that's where I come in, bringing that drama to stage and then infusing the power of God in there. Mm. And where they think they're being entertained, they don't know that they're getting ready to get delivered. All right. I've prayed over this play. I've fasted. You know, I've prayed for God to send me the right people to act in it. And I just believe that it's it's going to um, exceed my expectations. Yeah. And I'm just waiting. What a great thing. You know, when it's motivated by the love of God in your heart, it's a real life, you know, it really happened to you. It makes it really easy to throw out there and be confident to, to know that what God did for you, he can yes. do for others. Yes. yes. And, and you I'll, want to tell them. Yeah. And I'm, I always say that I'm not so abnormal that I know I'm unique. But I'm not so abnormal that the tears that I cry, the heartbreak that I've been through, and the disappointments that I've been through are uniquely to me. You know, there are people out there that has walked the same road that I've walked, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and I'm here to say I'm a survivor. I don't wear what my past on my face. That's I don't right. carry it on my back. I have truly been delivered mm. and yeah. i want to see that in other people yeah mm. that's awesome yes amen god is good all the time yeah and all the time god is good you yes. never hear the bible say god uh doubted god right. failed um god didn't do it. well mm -hmm. god may not have done what we wanted him to do mm. he <laughs> did what he wanted to do you know he does say his ways are higher than our ways higher yeah. than our ways and you know people need to remember that remember that um uh, sister claudine and i think that you know god ordained you for this time he didn't call me he didn't call out pastor judy to to write sticky situations he ordained you to do it yes. you know i yes. can't say I walk through what you walk through. You can't say you walk through what I walk through, but you could say what God brought you out of. Yes. You know, and, and he's given you discernment to write down the characterizations of these other people to say what God's going to bring them out of too. That's the amazing thing. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, absolutely. What is one thing, one thing you want the general public to take home from this production? 
that there is no situation that you might find yourself in where it's going to have God pacing the floor and scratching his head trying to figure out how to deliver you from it. Mm -hmm. I don't care where you are in life. God is going to deliver you. Mm -hmm. He -hmm. desires to deliver you. And it, it just bring it to him, bring it to him and just tell him to fix it. Yeah. And don't tell him how. Yeah. You know, I'm curious, Claudine, how did you come up with the title? What Uh, inspired you to call it this? Because I know people think long and hard sometimes about what's the title? What's the best thing to uh, call this? I actually had a play reading party where I invited a lot of friends over and we sat down and we read it. And, um, and I told them, I said, I'm just lost for a title. And they all just started brainstorming and throwing things out. And we had so much fun laughing and just saying crazy things. (laughs) And then one guy said, this is some sticky situations. That's all I can say. And everybody stopped and like, that's it. Ta-da. Sticky situations. And <laughs> so it is named. Yeah, I love it. It's a great title. It is. It makes you want to find out, you know, what's going on. Mm-hmm. Can you can you tell the general public, and we're going to go to a station break here in about three and a half minutes, but what's one of the sticky situations God brought you out of? Um, domestic abuse. All right. Yeah. And um, I have to say this. You don't wear it. You don't, you know, God truly brought you out of that, Claudine, because there are some people that they're missing an eye. They got a finger that's gone. They got a jaw that's out of place. They look like they have balls palsy, you know, but God is so good. That's the redemptive qualities of Jesus Christ. I looked in the mirror one day and I saw a black eye Mm. staring back at me and I said, never again, never again. I said, I will die trying to get out of this situation. Mm. And I meant that. And he threatened to kill me many times. And I said, well, you know what? The devil is a liar. Mm -hmm. One thing about it, when they write my obituary, they're going to write, she was trying to get out of this situation because I want out. Wow. I want out. And I don't care what situation you're in, when you want out bad enough, you'll find your door to deliverance. Oh. And I tell you what, Jesus Christ is going to be written on that door. Hallelujah. Oh, that he is, is the way. well said. He's the way. Hallelujah. Yeah. We're talking with uh, Sister Claudine Cheatham today about the gospel production play that she's written. It's going to be here in Des Moines, Iowa. I just, my computer screen went black. December 15th, correct? December 14th. December 14th, excuse me. December 14th at Goodrill um, uh, Middle School, 3300 East 29th Street. You can get your tickets at eventbrite.com. Again, that's Sticky Situations, the gospel production by um, Minister Claudine Cheatham. If you have any questions for her today, we'll take them at 855 244 0077. 855 244 0077. If you don't have a computer, you call us and we'll tell you how to get tickets so that we can get a ticket in your hand for you and your family. This play is going to change lives. Yeah. Amen. I yeah. truly, truly believe that. Or you can hit me on the chat here on Facebook also for questions for Sister Claudine. Go ahead, Pastor Judy. Yeah, I mean, I'm just really thrilled to hear your testimony right now that you just said there's so many women who need to they mm-hmm. need to know there's a way out. Yes. And they need somebody who's been through it who can say, follow yes. me. Here's the door. Here's yes. the way. Jesus Christ is, you know, the hope. He the is truth, the way. He the he did it for you. Yes. yes. And you know, that will get attention. That will get attention. Mm. I'm just like I said, I'm just praying and I'm just anticipating the results. I just want to hear the I want to it's not about me trying to make a name for myself. It's it's about people being delivered. Set free, I, I, the, healed, that's, yeah. set apart. Yeah. Amen. The yeah. Lamb's Book of Life. Yeah. You know, um, I'll say this when we come back from the station break because this kind of ties into it. I got to write it down so I remember it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we'll take your questions for Sister Claudine Cheatham here at 855-244-0077. 
I tell you what, I already got the Holy Ghost goosebumps up in here, Judy. I know that we are going in and going up. All right. In Jesus' name. After a word from our sponsors, I can tell because my cheeks always get big. They're like, <laughs> in, they're like in the 10 and 2 position on my face. <laughs> if you have a question, call us at 855-244-0077 regarding sticky situations. The play coming December 15th here in Des Moines, Iowa. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. From the REMAX Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. Visit eMetroFord.com for your guaranteed credit approval. Good credit, bad credit, no credit. Everybody drives with guaranteed credit approval at eMetroFord.com. Metro Visit eMetroFord.com today. If Tom Coates from Consumer Credit of America was your personal webmaster, Tom would filter out all bad debt emails. If Tom was your mailman, you'd never get any debt reduction junk mail. If Tom Coates was a lineman, he'd block any phone calls offering to reduce your credit card debt. Hi, I'm Tom Coates with Consumer Credit of America, and we're still your best choice for credit counseling. We're local, we're accountable, and we can do more. You make the call when the time's right for you. When it comes to competition, there really is none for Consumer Credit of America. Hey, psst, let me let you in on a little secret. You ready? Always try to do business with people, not places. Especially if you seek honest Christian business people. And when it comes to my car, I really need to trust who's working on it. Now, my family is so blessed. A few years ago, we found a family-owned automobile repair shop that operates as a Christian business also. Open, honest, reliable, trustworthy. It's Amco on Hickman Road in front of Kmart. And it's a family-owned Christian operating business. This family treats your car as if it was their car. Everything from oil changes to transmission repair and everything in between. So the next time you feel the need to be at peace with your choice of who you can trust with your car, give Amco on Hickman a chance to serve you. And tell them Max sent you. Get away from us, you mean old credit card. We don't have any more money. We're in trouble now. Save us! Help! Somebody save us! Somebody help! Help! Save us! Hi, I'm Tom Coach from Consumer Credit of Des Moines. If your credit card's a little too animated, give us a call. Hooray! We're saved! Super credit! Yeah! Welcome to The View from a Pew.com and KTIA Radio 99.3 FM. I'm your host, Reich Plekis, each and every Wednesday and Thursday from here on out on The View from a Pew.com and KTIA at 3 p.m. Join me as I present the greatest gospel artists, small groups, musicians, pastors, authors, apostles, and more, bringing to you the clear and concise word of God locally. Join me, www.theviewfromapew.com and KTIA Radio 99.3 FM at 3 p.m. I hope you'll join me to spread the word powered by GFest and WebcastOneLive.com. We're back here live right now at 99.3, the view from the the view from the pew, and also the Truth Network, encouraging every one of our listeners and viewers to come out December 5th and 6th to break every chain, a prayer and deliverance conference with none other than Apostle John Eckhart from Crusaders Ministries or Crusaders Church in Chicago, Illinois. I tell you, he was here last year to about 300, 330 people. It was awesome. December 5th is open to the general public, but you do need to reserve your seat because of the limited seating that we have 
have at the Event Center West at 1701 25th Street, which is the old Billy Joe's Picture Show. Again, that's December 5th and 6th. Break Every Chain with Apostle John Eckhart. It is open to the general public on December 6th at 7 p.m. Then there's a brunch and learn December 6th, which is Saturday, which is $25 in advance, $35 at the door if we have any seating left. I will tell you we are halfway registered for the Friday night service as it is. You can reserve your seat by going to Eventbrite, and we have the web page there um, on the visual today. Or you can go to Eventbrite and search for um, Apostle John Eckhart, E-C-K-H-A-R-D-T, in Des Moines, Iowa. It's going to be awesome, let me just tell you right now. We have in the studio with us today uh, Sister Claudine Cheatham, the playwright, uh, the the psalmist. The I, I call her minister. She's like, oh, right, please don't do that. But I do it anyway because she is a lay minister. But she <laughs> is here talking to us. And I accidentally said December 15th before the station break. But it's actually December 14th. Sticky situations at Goodrill Middle School here in Des Moines. You can get tickets to this gospel production online at Eventbrite, and we have the information right there, the poster. Or you can call us here at the studios, 855-244-0077, 855-244-0077, and we'll give you information on how you can get tickets live to us from us today here. Uh, Claudine Cheatham, welcome back. And I, I said that I had a question when we went to the station break, and I keep saying December 15th, so maybe I'm prophesying that it's going to be a two-day sold-out sh- show. <laughs> Amen. Well, yeah, I received it. <laughs> <laughs> but you told us that you um, you were set free from victim domestic abuse, correct? Yes. And and I like to say this, that you know, jokes have victims. Jokes have victims. You know, there is never a real good joke to play on anybody. And those jokes turn into domestic violence. There's nothing funny about hitting somebody. And you said that one day you woke up and you, you looked in the, the, um, the mirror and you saw a black eye. And you said, this is it. You, you drew a line in the sand and you, you crawled out to Jesus, get me out of this situation but by you. Amen? Mm-hmm. Amen. We have a caller on the line, and um, we're going to take that call right now. It's Frank. Hey, Frank. Hey, how you doing? Great. You have a uh, question for Claudine? Well, yeah. Uh, Claudine's story reminds me of a story uh, that I heard once that I'd like to relay to you and your audience. Uh, I guess there was a woman that was going to a set of evangelistic series, and it was getting close to the time when she was going to make a decision about baptism. And her husband got increasingly more abusive with her on a nightly basis, and the culmination of it come up to the point where he basically laid out the ultimatum. You go to that evangelistic series, I'm going to kill you. Mm. And she looked her husband straight in the eye, and she said, you kill me, I go to that meeting one way or the other. I'm going to be at the Lord tonight. Let me just reiterate this, Frank, because we don't have any headphones for um, uh, Sister Claudine. He reminds him of a story of an individual woman that was going to go to a baptism, and her husband said, if you go to that baptism, I'm going to kill you tonight. Go ahead, Frank. And she basically looked him in the eye and said, one way or the other, I'm going to be with the Lord tonight. She said, one way or another, I'm going to be with the Lord tonight, is what she said. (laughs) And and hold on, hold that right there, Frank, because Claudine wants to to intercede something there. Well, I think, and I can actually hear him just a little, I can hear him, but um, I think that split-second decision that she made when she looked him in the face and said, one way or another, I'm going to do this, when she made that decision, that was the pivot point of her life. Amen. And it takes a decision. You know, sometimes you feel like, as women, You feel like the whole world is against you. Mm. But once you make that decision, no life is better than this life. Mm. Well, the moral I'm getting out of here one way or the other. Go ahead, Frank. The moral to the story is is that there's an old proverb, maybe in the Bible, that talks about a a a good woman is finer than pure gold. And this woman's witness and her character of making that decision that night for the Lord, standing for Christ, she brought that husband into the church, and he was also baptized with her. Were you that husband, Frank? No, not, not me. <laughs> but it, it, it just tells me that when, when, when God says, I don't come to bring peace, I come to bring a sword, 
That means that Christ is coming to separate any earthly relationship you have to set at variance, mother against daughter, father against son, mother-in-law against daughter-in-law, because he wants to call individuals out to stand for Jesus Christ no matter what they're going to lose, what they potentially are going to lose, their life, relationships, whatever, and their witness can bring other individuals to Christ. Amen. Thanks for calling in, Frank. Yeah. And I tell you, you know, the word That's also awesome. says that God came to bring life. Yes. And life abundantly, you know, Claudine. On this earth. Yes. On this earth. Jesus yes. had a twofold ministry. He says, I came that you might have life yes. here. Come on. And I go to prepare a place. So we're supposed to have life here and the life mm. hereafter. Mm. Mm. And we think that all of our glory, all of our joy is going to come in the hereafter. No, no, not so. No, when you make Christ the Lord of your life, you experience immediate joy. It doesn't mean that life is perfect and it doesn't mean it's uh, always easy, but it is it is a life. It is a life. Mm -hmm. And we have the right to close the doors to anything that the enemy brings to us whether that's abuse from a spouse, a co-worker, a friend, a neighbor, you have the right to close that door. Yeah. No one has the right to infiltrate that into your life. Right. Right. Mm. I tell you, um, somebody just sent me a, a text message here, and I'm trying to go back up through it because I... Technology. Uh, technology, I tell you what. <laughs> you know, um, the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And, and God knows that. And the, the, the word that came forward is that the, um, the devil can't ever tempt you with something that he already hasn't tempted you with, you know, and that's kind of like the people that um, say to you that you can't and you show them that you will. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to become that over. Nobody wants to be downtrodden. Nobody wants to be the underdog. You know, they want to be an overcomer. They want to right. be healed, set free, delivered, you know, set out, set apart. And I think that, you know, that's the circumstance that you finally do the line in the sand. You said it's, it starts with a black eye. Then it's a broken arm. Then it's a broken leg. Then it's a broken jaw. Right. You know, where, where does it, where's it going to stop? Where's the pain going to stop? Exactly. Exactly. Mm. It stops when I draw the line. And it stops when you draw the line. So, right. Mm. There were a lot of women that year that lost their lives. Mm. And he continually pointed it out to me. Mm. Do you want your name to be in the paper next? Mm. He continually did that to me. Mm. You know? And like I said, a lot of women lost their lives that year. But thanks be to God, he delivered me. Claudine, can you share with us how long you pretended in the public eye that life was okay when deep inside you were devastated and dying. Can you, can you give us a look into that for the sake of other people so they can have courage to come out of that? Yes. It was, I'm going to say at least five years. Mm -hmm. oh. And I can remember at the lowest point of my life, my daily prayer was for God to take my breath from me. Mm. Yeah. You know, I right. was like, I'm not going to commit suicide. Yeah. But can you do it for me, Lord? Can yeah. you, you ain't got to do remove me. Yeah. You ain't got to do nothing dramatic. Just don't let me wake up. And then nobody will know yeah. how miserable I am on the inside, mm. how unhappy I am on the inside. And you know? why is it that you, why is it that uh, women hide that? What about Because we us? have so many roles. We have so many, um, Pressures. We have so many labels put hats. on us. So many hats to wear. So many. Yes. You know, everybody defines so distinctly what a woman is. You know, and we. You know, you got to be small and petite. You got to have long hair. You got to have a little size six foot. You know, and if you're outside of those realms, then you just continually beat up on yourself. Mm. You know, I'm not tall enough. I'm not light enough. I'm not dark enough. My hair is too short. My hair is too long. It's too curly. It's too straight. My eyes aren't green. My teeth are crooked. I'm here to tell you, get your cock-eyed, buck-tooth, knock-kneed self up and yes. start calling on the Lord mm. because you are good enough the way Amen. you are. That's Amen. right. If Christ came to die for you just the way you are, it doesn't get any better than that. Yeah. 
You know, God revealed to me the other day that he doesn't, he doesn't see ugly, you know? When you when we look at people and we define beauty, to whose standard? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, God created all of us. Mm-hmm. Beauty and for ashes. Exactly. Amen. Mm-hmm. So how can one human being be more beautiful than another human being in God's eyesight? Yeah. Come Can't on. He created us all. Yeah. He said he makes Hallelujah. all things beautiful, you know, and it's time. Yeah. So yeah. everybody's beautiful. Amen. You know, I don't have to have a certain physique or a certain height or a certain dress size to be beautiful, That's you right. know? Amen. Yep. Um, a quick question just came across right now. It says that if somebody, if are you prepared that if somebody tells you you cannot speak about the gospel anymore, are you prepared to shut it down or are you prepared to stand up for the fight? You mean shut my play down or just quit speaking about the gospel? Quit speaking about the gospel oh, I'm gonna, of Jesus Christ. I'm going to talk about the Lord. I don't care where I'm at. Amen. I'm going to figure out a way to talk about the Lord. Now, that's mm. all there is to it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my mantle, you know? Yeah. I mean, he saved me for that. And so everywhere I go, I've got to interject that into my conversation. Wow. Yeah. You know when he's when you're still living when you should be dead. Exactly. You know he saved you for something. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and you just got to say it because you know there's hurting people out mm-hmm. there and you know there's other people that are deceived. Mm-hmm. They need to know the truth. They must know what God did for you. You know, um, this kind of reminds me of the story that we did a week, week and a half ago, uh, Sister Claudine, that, you know, right now there's a mayor in Houston, Texas, that has brought a lawsuit against several pastors and subpoenaed their sermons because they've spoke about the truth and the light. And um, she is a well-known, outspoken lesbian mayor of Houston, Texas. And um, I put the call out. I also wrote Huckabee's office, Governor Huckabee. I wrote several different radio stations, uh, people that I know. And I said, start sending Bibles. Start mm-hmm. sending Bibles to this mayor. If she wants to know the word, give her the word of God. And, you know, Fox News, I was just reminded right now, Fox News said that there's over a thousand Bibles that have been sent to this mayor. It's time for people not to stand, not to sit down anymore, but to stand up for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. He is a deliverer. He's a, Amen. A, a, he will set you free. He gives you light upon your path. And it's time to wake up the Amen. church. That's your Say next that. play. Wake up. We're going to be right back with Sister Claudine Cheatham right after this in Sticky Situations. Call us if you have a question, 855-244-0077 here at the Truth Network 99.3. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. From the REMAX Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. I'm Brian Leach, owner of Service Legends, and my position is Chief Talent Officer. I'm Nicholas Wondershide. I am Bernie Hobbs. And I'm the service manager. Marketing director and client relations manager. Everything that we do is about ensuring that we exceed your expectations. Our clients are important to us. 100% satisfaction. We're not just focused on heating and cooling. That's the easiest part of our job, actually, is fixing furnaces and air conditioners. Everyone that we come in touch with, we want to improve lives. Bottom line is, we've got our installation guarantees, 25% energy savings guarantee, comfort guarantee, temperature selection guarantee, property protection guarantee. 100% satisfaction guaranteed, fixed rate or it's free. All of those guarantees are backed up with a 100% money back guarantee to hold ourselves accountable to making sure that you get what you're after. Just fixing the problem today, if they have another problem five days down the road, it's still a fixed rate or it's free. We use what's called straightforward pricing. Our technicians are gonna give you an exact to the penny price on what it's gonna take before they move forward with any repair. That way you know what to expect. It's the same price every day. No surprises. If you get off work at five o'clock in the afternoon, You come home, you realize that, oh, my furnace is broken. Now you need to call somebody out that night. You shouldn't have to pay more for that. We're guaranteeing service 24-7. We run afternoons, evenings, nights, weekends. We're staffed to work that. Phone rings at 3 in the morning. You'll get one of our representatives answering the phone every time. We're not sending you out to Timbuktu and some call center. It's our service legend team members, our mission control team. I'll take a call anytime. And then they answer the phones same way during the day as they do at night. It's a great day at your service company. How can we make you smile? That's the only way to provide true 24-hour service. When you're able to let somebody actually live in their home safely 
when they weren't able to do that before, where they don't have to stay up at night and worry about, is the heat gonna come back on? Are we gonna freeze the pipes? Is the baby in the room next door gonna be sick because they got too cold? When you're able to help somebody overcome challenges like that, that's impacting a life. That makes a difference. I get goosebumps thinking about it. I love the team. I love the people that I work with. <laughs> we have fun, but we work hard. I call them my ambassadors of legendary service. If you could just envision what that is, that's who we're sending to your home. They literally will call in, pick up the phone and call and say, hey, I want to talk to your manager. And I get on the phone, they're like, that technician that was at my house was the greatest technician ever. That's cool to me. We want to brighten people's days. Every person that we have going into the house has gone through an extensive background check. Drug testing, we have a very thorough interview process that one out of 140 people make it through. If we promise you something, that's what you're going to get, no matter what. We're here when you need us to protect the safety and comfort of your family. If you're not happy, we're going to make it right. If we're willing to put 100% money back guarantee on what we do, what type of work do you think we do? Give us a call. We're there for you 24-7, 365 days a year. Enough said. Welcome to The View from Pew.com and KTIA Radio 99.3 FM. I'm your host, Reich Plekis, each and every Wednesday and Thursday from here on out on The View from Pew.com and KTIA at 3 p.m. Join me as I present the greatest gospel artists, small groups, musicians, pastors, authors, apostles, and more, bringing to you the clear and concise word of God locally. Join me, www.theviewfromapew.com and KTIA Radio 99.3 FM at 3 p.m. I hope you'll join me to spread the word powered by GFest and WebcastOneLive.com. We're back here at 99.3, The Truth Network, with Minister Reich Plekis and Pastor Judy Chapman. We're joined by our sister, Claudine Cheatham, today. We're inviting everybody to come out to Break Every Chain, a prayer and deliverance conference here in Des Moines, December 5th and 6th. December 5th at 7 p.m., December 6th at 10 a.m. is a brunch and learn. You can get tickets uh, to general admission um, for the December 5th service on Eventbrite by looking up Apostle John Eckhart, E-C-K-H-A-R-D-T, in Des Moines. And uh, reserve your seats for the general admission session, uh, worship session, on Friday night, December the 6th. And then if you want to come to the Brunch and Learn on December 6th, it is $25 in advance, $35 if there are any seats left at the door. That's Apostle John Eckhart, Break Every Chain, here in Des Moines, Iowa, December 5th and 6th at the Event Center West, which is located at 1701 25th Street off of Office Park Road. It's the old Billy Joe's Picture Show um, Theater. And I tell you, we're joined with um, my sister from another mother, Claudine Cheatham. And talking about her her gospel production that God ordained her to write, and it took quite some time to do it, but it came to fruition. Amen. And it's called Sticky Situations, coming up December fourteenth. Yes. Amen. I got it right. <laughs> Um, at Goodrell Middle School, 3300 East 29th. You do need to get tickets online, or you can call us here at the station, 855-244-0077, 855-244-0077. Or, Claudine, is there a number they can reach you at after the show or somebody else for tickets? Um, yes, they can, 525 515-525-8283. 8283-525-8283. She's looking amazing. She's like, you caught me off guard, Reich. But that's all right. It's okay to look like that. I look like that all the time. So God gave you a scripture you wanted to share real quick. With yes, the he did. Um, I initially um, put the play on stage in 2010. And this was the scripture that the Lord had given me. It's Joshua, the eighth chapter and the eighth verse. It says, when you have taken the city, set it on fire. Do what the Lord says. Observe that I have given you the orders. Mm -hmm. And I put the play on in, like I said, July of 2010. And I became so discouraged because I didn't get the response that I thought, you know, how can I set the city on fire if people don't show up, mm -hmm. you know? And I tucked it away. Mm -hmm. And I just, I just let it lay there in my folder. And um, the Lord led me to um, meet up with a promoter in the city, John Martin. Mm -hmm. And um, John and I collaborated, and we put on another play during the summer, um, The Tragedy. And I knew then that that was like a prelude to this. You mm -hmm. know, I knew with every step that I was taking – with that production, I knew that it was leading up to me doing this. It was more or less God's way of rebuilding my confidence 
in my ability and the call that he's given me. And so I'm just believing that this is going to come to pass. Set the city on fire, and it's going to burn up some domestic abuse situations. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's going to burn up some crack cocaine addiction mm-hmm. situations, you know. That's what God wants to do. Yeah. And I'm just looking forward to it again, December the 14th. Amen, at Goodrill Middle School. You could get those tickets again on Eventbrite um, by searching Sticky Situations. There's also an event page on Facebook. If you search Sticky Situations on Facebook, you'll find all the information right there about the December 14th gospel production, Sticky Situations. Um, Quick question here. Did you feel when you did the first production and it wasn't received, did you feel that that was an insecurity? Did you feel that it was because there was haters out there or because there there weren't people ready to receive a word in the manner in which God gave it to you? I believe it was um, never haters. I don't even believe in haters, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, Like I said, why are we worried about haters when Martin Luther King, Medgar Evers, and Malcolm, they had assassinators. So you can hate on me all you want, just don't assassinate me, you know? Mm -hmm. So I don't even worry about that. But I just think it was my novice, you know. I I just wasn't um, learned enough, you know, to know how to put on. Well, you said earlier in the show you've been praying, you've been fasting. You know, did that take place the first time? No, this time. I know, but it did it. So it didn't the first time. It did time. the first time, but I just, I think I was, um, I had an attitude and I was angry because I had just moved back from Atlanta, Georgia, and I wanted to live in Atlanta. Nobody mm. wanted to live in Des Moines, I rem- Iowa. I remember that. Yeah. And, not, and that's what you it kept was. telling me you were going back. That's right. And so Why, it's, it's like, cold here. Yeah. yeah you, and it was cold. It was like when I left Atlanta, it was like 65 degrees. And I got to Des Moines. It was like 12 inches of snow on the ground. And I'm like, serious. And I knew it was a God move. But I didn't like it. That's right. I remember and you I coming didn't up to want, me. Exactly. You came up to me at and Pastor Moody's church. You're like, I'm here temporarily, right? I'm going back to Atlanta. Exactly. (laughs) And no more would you reward your kids for their obstinance and for their disobedience. Come on. Then God is not going to reward me, and I can't expect it. I can't expect for God to smile down on me and and reward me for my disobedience. And so I did it, but he said if you be willing mm. yes. and obedient, yes. yeah. you will eat the good of the land. This is just a quick response to a question that I got here. If you are not able to attend the gospel production Sticky Situations, but want to sew into the ministry of uh, Claudine Cheatham, you can contact her by finding her on Facebook under Claudine Cheatham. That's C-H-E-A-T-E-M, C-H-E-A-T-E-M. T E M. And, um, you know, I'm not going to say whether it's tax deductible or is tax deductible. If, if it isn't, she'll make a way for you to give it to a 501 C three that they can gift it to her so that she can help, uh, defer some of the expenses for putting on this production. Uh, so I'll give you that information right there. If you want additional information, you can call me at eight, five, five, two, four, four, zero, zero, seven, seven, or five, one, five, seven, two, zero, three, nine, three, nine. And I'll get you in touch with sister Claudine Cheatham. I tell you, I think the city is ready for this word. I really do. Domestic abuse is alive and too well yeah. running rampant throughout our nation. Um, and it's it's not just a male on female situation. It's it's, it's on everywhere. children. Yeah. You know, it's it's, it's it's you see violence take place against animals. I was just reading some creepy things on the internet yeah. about that. Oh, yeah. You know, there there are people out there that need prayer but need deliverance, Pastor yeah. Judy. Yes. 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 And, and and it's time for us to stand up, w- wake up, and stand up, and stand out of the norm. You know, God doesn't want us to be a, a broken vessel. He wants us to be a living vessel, a testimony. Right. And right now, especially while we still can That's in this right. nation, we, need, we must grab every minute. We must grab every That's opportunity right. and open our mouths, our big old mouths, as big as we can, yes. you know, and use them for Jesus Christ. You know, the Lord, he wants to show off his children. You know, we can look at reality TV Mm. all day long, Mm. and we can see how Satan is showing his children off. Even in the church. Well, yeah. They (laughs) live in nice homes. Mm. They drive fabulous cars. Mm. You know, they wear nice clothes, but they live such degrading lifestyles. Mm. And the Lord wants to show his children off, but we can't be. He wants us to be Mm sober-minded, and he can't 
put us up on a pedestal if we are in situations, like in our own sticky situations. Right. You know? He needs us to clean up our lives. Yes. You know, he's willing to help us. It's not like parents when we tell our kids, get in there and get your bedroom cleaned up, and we leave it to them to figure out how to do That's it. That's right. No, he's going to step in there, and he's going to say, okay, pick this up. Yep. Throw that in the trash. That needs to be laundered. An ever-present that... help in time of need. Exactly. Make us white exactly. as snow. Yeah. Quick question came across here, and I'm going to tell you how you can help in regards to this domestic abuse violence program that's taking place. Yes, you can still send Bibles to the mayor at Houston, Texas at 901 Bagby Street. That's 901 <laughs> Bagby Street, Houston, Texas, 770022. Attention, Mayor and niece, A-N-N-I-S-S-E Parker, She'd love to have the Word of God just mailed to her today. Send those Bibles to 901 Bagby Street, Houston, Texas, 770022. We have more Claudine Cheatham to come back right after this word from our sponsors here at 99.3, The Truth Network. From the REMAX Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. Visit eMetroFord.com for your guaranteed credit approval. Good credit, bad credit, no credit. Everybody drives with guaranteed credit approval at eMetroFord.com. Visit eMetroFord.com today. If Tom Coates from Consumer Credit of America was your personal webmaster, Tom would filter out all bad debt emails. If Tom was your mailman, you'd never get any debt reduction junk mail. If Tom Coates was a lineman, he'd block any phone calls offering to reduce your credit card debt. Hi, I'm Tom Coates with Consumer Credit of America, and we're still your best choice for credit counseling. We're local, we're accountable, and we can do more. You make the call when the time's right for you. When it comes to competition, there really is none for Consumer Credit of America. Get away from us, you mean old credit card. We don't have any more money. We're in trouble now. Save us! Help! Somebody save us! Somebody help! Help! Save us! Hi, I'm Tom Coates from Consumer Credit of Des Moines. If your credit card's a little too animated, give us a call. Hooray! We're saved! Consumer Credit! Yeah! Welcome to The View from a Pew.com and KTIA Radio 99.3 FM. I'm your host, Reich Plekis, each and every Wednesday and Thursday from here on out on The View from a Pew.com and KTIA at 3 p.m. Join me as I present the greatest gospel artists, small groups, musicians, pastors, authors, apostles, and more, bringing to you the clear and concise word of God locally. Join me, www.theviewfromapew.com and KTIA Radio 99.3 FM at 3 p.m. I hope you'll join me to spread the word powered by GFest and WebcastOneLive.com. We're back here at 99.3, The Truth Network, and I'm going to just tell you all um, that tomorrow, Apostle David Rogers from Chicago, Illinois, is going to be joining us on the show as a call-in guest. David, Apostle David Rogers tomorrow, and he studied theology at Concordia, Chicago. Um, inviting everybody to come out December 5th and 6th to Apostle John Eckhart for Break Every Chain, the Prayer and Deliverance Conference at the um, Event Center West, 1701 25th Street. You can get tickets and reserve your general admission seat on Friday, December 5th on eventbrite.com or get your brunch and learn ticket for December 6th at 10 a.m. online at eventbrite.com. Search for Apostle John Eckhart, E-C-K-H-A-R-D-T on Eventbrite in Des Moines for that information. Or you can call us at 515-720-3939, 515-720-3939. We're joined back here with Sister Claudine Cheatham. We're talking about 
about sticky situations and the gospel production that's coming up December the 14th at Good Drill uh, Middle School here in Des Moines. You can get your tickets on Eventbrite by look, st searching Sticky Situations in Des Moines. You can also find the page on Facebook looking up Sticky Situations as well or hit um, Claudine Cheatham, C-H-E-A-T-E-M up on Facebook. Also, if you get your tickets now, and I'm urging everybody that's listening or watching to get a ticket. If you can't go, buy a ticket for somebody else because right now the tickets are half price for this event. And people think, she's just doing this to make money. But I tell you what, I know in your situation, this ain't about making money. This no. is about saving lives. Thank um, you, Ryan. Is the Domestic Abuse Violence Center teaming up with you in regards to this production? I have not reached out to them, but I do intend to, and Amen. I will be um, passing out pamphlets Amen. regarding Amen. that, and also um, Narcotics Anonymous. All right. Well, I tell you what, we're we're delighted and excited that you came on the show today. We we definitely want you to come back after um, the, the deliverance event and uh, tell us about the lives that were changed, because I know that where the word goes forth that nothing void can turn return, return to us from right. it, you know, and um, I'm just excited and delighted. What do you have, Pastor Judy? Yeah, Claudine, um, I'm wondering if I just want to give you a chance to speak about um, the people that would be able to receive ministry from this children. Is this for families, um, individuals, husbands? Would all people be able to find interest in this? I think that um, if a person walks in to the auditorium, and even if they're not a non-believer, they're going to be entertained, but they're also going to walk out with some... Touched. Touched. <laughs> so we want all people to feel we like they everyone, can come to this. Amen. We want everyone. Um, if, it's, if it doesn't affect you, if crack cocaine is not affecting you and your family, it's affecting the family across the street from you. Right. If it's not, if domestic abuse is not affecting you or your family that you know of, that you're aware of because as women, we like to hide it. Yeah. We like to hide it. So if, if it's not affecting you and your family, it's affecting somebody on your block. So mm. this is a, a heart cry for women who are, are locked into uh, the, the abuse system and do not know how to escape it. This is an educational thing for people who maybe stand at a distance and don't know what to do. So all people can be um, benefit. Yes from yes. this work that God put in your heart. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, there's, there's um, never enough vacancies for the word of God. That means there's always an open door. Yeah. Oh, yes. Always an open door. And, um, you know, for, for people that uh, know we're our time is drawing nigh. Our time is drawing nigh as we know it right here. We know that our, our government is allowing things to happen um, that, that just didn't happen and aren't so. You know, when you have a mayor suing churches and suing pastors because she thinks her feelings got hurt by what may or may not have been said, it's time for the church to wake up and stand up. That's right. Mail Bibles to uh, uh, Mayor Anise uh, Parker at 901 Bagby Street in Houston, 770022. Mail a letter to her saying you're praying for her. Yeah. You know, why didn't she subpoena? Why didn't she sue the Methodist Church, which she's a member of? Mm, yeah. Bottom Say that. line. It's time for the church to wake up, and it has to start from the head. The pastors yeah. need to wake up and wake their congregations Say up. It. You know, bottom Say it. line. You know, I, I went to prayer today at noon, and I tell you what, I left there energized because there's not a lot of pastors having prayer at noon in this city. And um, I'm, I'm just delighted that, that God took you, Claudine, picked you up, turned you around, set your feet on holy ground, Yes. on holy ground, because he didn't ordain Pastor Judy to do this. He didn't ordain me to do this. He ordained you to do this. There's people that are going to receive the gospel in the way that you wrote it versus the way that I or Pastor Judy would write it. Yep. Yes. Yep. And, and it's for a time such as this. I, I stayed focused. Amen. I continued to write through the death of my mother through the death of one of my brothers, yes. through the death of two of my sisters, yes. you know, and I just stayed focused and I would write, you know, mm. as I was, you know, standing in line at the grocery store, thought mm. would come to mind. Yeah. And I jotted on a piece of paper, you know, yeah. and I'd take it home and I'd integrate it into the script that I was working on. Wow. So. 
Yeah, and now you told me a little bit ago that um, the music is original. Yes. You wrote the lyrics? I wrote the lyrics, and I have a brother, Ronald Cheatham. He's working on the musical compositions for me for is the songs. Is that my Ronald That's Cheatham? Great. That's your Ronald What's Cheatham. What's up? <laughs> we, got, you know what, we got a couple minutes. We got to send some, we gotta send some shout outs out to, <laughs> to Mr. Ronnie and his lovely wife. Ava. Yes. Ava, Ava, and, yes. and that little, little boy of mine. I could adopt that kid. I love him so much. Pastor Judy, we're closing. Would you mind praying for Sticky Situations? Praying yes. for a hedge of protection around Claudine yes. and the whole entire cast. Yes, Thank Father, you. we do in the name of Jesus. We lift them up. Father, we ask that you would not only bless them with exposure. Father, bless them with uh, protection. We pray a hedge of protection around them, each one, as they move forward to... Uh, walk in the fullness of this god i pray that you would equip them and anoint them and empower them god to bring forth the fullness of your heart father i pray for full measures of confidence in each one god to be the ministers that you've called them to be to open their mouths boldly to testify to the goodness of the Lord Jesus Christ, to call in the lost, to be of a lighthouse to the brokenhearted. Yes. God, and above all else, I ask that you would keep them strong in Christ, Father, for your glory. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And Amen. I tell you what, it's it's times like this that make you want to draw an eye and, and draw into the Lord and say, Jesus, just take me. Take me. Yeah. I'm I'm excited. I am so excited for you. I'm excited for the people to come. Again, come out and support Sticky Situations, December the 14th at Goodrill Middle School here in Des Moines. Get your tickets today while they're half price on Eventbrite. Um, if you want to sow into the ministry, contact um, Sister Cheatham, Claudine Cheatham, C-H-E-A-T-E-M, on Facebook. And uh, if you want to give a donation, she'll find you a 501c3 if she's not one to give to. So it's a tax deduction for you. But help sow into this ministry to change lives forever. Ever. I'm excited. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I really am too. Amen.